Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial series on searching algorithms. And today we're gonna discuss on another important problem for technical interview and that is finding the smallest number in a sorted array in the most optimized time. So in this problem also I will be giving you two solutions, one the brute force approach and second the optimized solution. So before jumping into the solution, let's first understand the problem. So our problem statement says that given an array of sorted numbers, we have to find out the smallest missing number in this list. So over here, if you look into this sorted array carefully, you can see that the number of items that are missing on this array are 5, 7, 8, over here we have 11, 13 and 14. So these are the missing number within this sorted array. So our problem statement says that we have to find the smallest missing number that is 5. So the output of this problem should give 5 as our output. So this is the basic requirement of our problem. So let's deep dive into the solution of this problem. So let's see how we will solve this problem of finding the smallest missing number in a sorted array in most optimized time. So let's understand the problem using our whiteboard session. So the way we can solve this problem using brute force approach is actually quite simple. So if you just look into this problem, you can see that we have to start our iteration over this array from i equal to 0 till the end of our list. And on each and every iteration, we have to keep on checking that whether the two elements present over here are consecutive or not. And the condition to check that whether the two element is consecutive or not is like the next element that is present over here should be 1 plus the current element. So if this condition satisfies, means the element next to the current element will be a consecutive number. And we will keep on checking this condition for the entire array over here. And whenever this condition fails, we will conclude that this is the missing number within our list. So you can easily understand that to find the smallest missing number in a sorted array, that is 5 over here, we have to iterate through the entire list. And so the complexity of this problem will become order of n. But to find the solution of this problem in the most optimized way, we need to write a solution that is much more efficient and the complexity of the problem should be of log of n, which is quite less than that of order of n. But before going into the optimized solution, let's first develop the code and understand the problem using our brute force approach. So let's write the solution using our brute force approach. So let's name the solution as missing number. So over here we will be passing in the complete integer array as our parameter. So the first thing that we have to do is like we have to start a for loop that will start from the beginning till the end of this list. So let's write the conditional statement over here. So on each iteration, we have to see whether the next item for our iteration is consecutive to our current item or not. So if the two items are consecutive, means the array is in sorted order and we do not have any missing number until this point. But if the next item that we have over here is not in a consecutive way, we have to break our for loop over here and we will return the i plus 1 means this is the missing element within our list and here we need to close our for loop so if you see the solution of this problem is quite simple so what we are doing is like on each iteration we are checking that whether the element next to our current element is consecutive or not so if it is a consecutive element we are doing nothing but if it is not a consecutive number then we are breaking our for loop and we are returning the corresponding index that is the corresponding number from our function. So over here if we do a dry run we can see that for the first time it's 0 1. So this condition satisfies. So we are not returning anything. We are moving forward to the next number and we are checking 1 and 2. So here also it is a consecutive number and we are keep on doing till this position. So on 4 and 6 we are checking that whether the two number is consecutive or not. So over here, this condition satisfies and thus it enters the if condition and from here it is returning i plus 1 position that is 5 from here. And thus we are getting the desired smallest missing element from our list. And over here at the end, we will be returning the value of i. Means if there is no missing element present over here, then the last element will be our missing element. So that's why we are returning i from here. 
So I hope the solution of this problem is simple and quite easy to understand. But if you see the complexity of this problem is order of n. But we have to take one thing into consideration that we are not utilizing the benefit of our sorted array over here. So let's see how we can solve this problem in more optimized way taking the benefit of this sorted array. So let's move to the solution of finding the smallest missing number in a sorted array in the most optimized way. So let's see how we can solve this problem in log of n times. So actually the algorithm to find out the missing number in a sorted array in the most optimized time is quite simple if you look into this array carefully. So over here if you look into this array you will get to know there is a typical behavior with this array. So let's first mark the index of the array over here. So I think you have already got the idea of what I'm trying to do. So over here, if you see that the value of the index and the value of the array is actually same till we encounter a missing element over here. So actually you can see that the value of the index is five, but the element that is present on this index is six. And that is why we have a smallest missing number and that is five over here. So taking the advantage of this fundamental concept of array, we will going to solve this problem in log of n times using two pointers. In my previous video tutorial, I have solved many problems using two pointers. So if you are not familiar with the approach by which we solve our algorithms using two pointers, I will highly recommend you to go through my previous video and understand those problems first. So let's get back to the solution of finding the missing number in a sorted array using two pointers. So what we will be doing over here, we will be setting two pointers, one at the first index over here, let's call that as low and one pointer at the last element of our list, let's consider that as high. We have to iterate this entire array until this low and high doesn't meet with each other. And on each iteration, we have to keep finding the middle element. And we have to keep on checking the value of meet element. And based on the value of meet element, we will take our decision. So over here, you can see that the value of the meet element matches with the corresponding index. So over here, the value that is present on the meet element is 4. And the index position of this is also 4. Which means the array until this point is sorted. And we do not have any missing number on this side of the array. And thus, we will move our low to mid plus one, that is over here. And in this way, we will keep on iterating the array till we find a missing element. And if we find a missing element, we will return the value of that missing element. And thus, we can solve the problem in log of n times. So hopefully you have understand the approach by which we are planning to solve this problem in the most optimized way. So let's understand this problem using our visual display board so that it will be more easy for you to implement the above problem. So given an array of non-negative integer in a sorted manner, so our problem statement says that we need to find the first smallest missing number in this list in the most optimized time. So let's see how we are planning to solve this problem using two pointers. So at the very beginning of the program, we will say three pointers, low, mid and high. The low pointer pointing to the first element of the list and high pointing to the last element of the list. And the middle pointer is calculated based on the value of low and high. So on the first iteration, we will be checking the value of the mid element. And if the value of the mid element is equal to the position of the array, which means that all the element that is present on the left side of the mid is already present in the sorted order and there is no missing element on the left side of the mid. So now we need to iterate over the right side of the array. So we will reassign the low pointer to mid plus one. And we will again calculate the value of the mid based on the value of low and high. Now on second iteration, we again need to see the value of the mid. And over here, if you see how the value of the mid doesn't match the index position of the mid because the value of the mid is six and the current index position of the mid is five, which means that the element which is missing lies on the left side of the mid. So we again need to change the pointers over here and we will assign the high pointer to mid minus one. So over here, we are again changing the pointer. So now the low pointer, high pointer and mid pointer all are pointing to the same element that is four. Now again, on the third iteration, we will check the value of the mid element and we will compare it with its corresponding index value. So here you can see that the value of the mid matches with its corresponding index, which again means that until this point, all the values on the left side of the mid are in sorted order and there is no missing element until this point. So we need to compute on the right subarray of this list. 
So again, we will reassign the pointers like low equal to mid plus 1. So over here, you can see that the low is pointing to the fifth element and the high is pointing to the fourth element, which actually violates our condition of low less than high. And thus, we will return the index position of the low from there, which is equal to 5. And thus, we found out that the smallest missing number in this sorted array is 5. So I think you guys have understand the way we are planning to solve this problem. So let's write the Java code to implement the solution of this problem. But before that, don't forget to like this video. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss an update from my side and you are always ready for your next interview. So let's go back to the solution of this problem. So let's name this method as finding smallest number. So here we will be passing the array as well as the low and the high index of the array. So the first thing that we have to check is like if the value of the low is greater than the high, that means our low crossed our high, we have to stop our iteration. So from here, we will return the value of the low, which is our missing element. So if this condition doesn't satisfy, means the value of low is less than the value of high, then on each iteration, we have to calculate the middle element over here. And we will check that if the value of the mid element is equal to the position of the mid element, means the element is at its correct position, then what we have to do, we have to understand that there is no missing element on the left side of the array. So we have to start our iteration from our right side. So we will be passing the right side of our subarray. So here you can see we are passing the right subarray from here. That means our low is pointing to our mid plus one, means our low is right now over here and high is present over here. And if this condition doesn't match, means we have the element on the left side of our array. So else we will pass the left side of our array in this recursion function. And thus at the end, we will close our function. So if you just do a dry run over here, you will get to know that here on the second iteration, we have our low at element six, that is index position five, and our high at index position nine. And again, we will be finding the mid element from here. So the mid element is like seven. So we will again check whether the value of the mid is equal to its position element or not. So here you can see that the value of the mid is 10 and the position is 7. So it doesn't match, means we have to iterate on this side of our array. So our low is still pointing to the element 5 and our high is pointing to the index position 6. And we have to keep on doing this process. So over here now you can see that the value of low is equal to the value of the high. So this condition doesn't satisfy and thus it will return the value of the low from here that is 5. And hence we have calculated the smallest missing number in a sorted array in the most optimized way that is in log of n time. So hopefully you have understand the solution of this problem. I will be giving the entire code snippet in the description below. Feel free to download the code and understand the problem thoroughly. But if you face any problem in understanding the solution of this problem, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you over there. So let's move to the next problem of our searching algorithms. See you on our next video. Thank you.